simple Freshdesk ticketing system tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with the Freshdesk ticketing system as a beginner and build your own ticketing system for your business or e-commerce store. So let's get into it. Now to get started, simply head on over to freshworks.com and just go into Freshdesk and they have a bunch of different support centers as well. And you have multiple different products within this category. So you have their support desk, you have contact centers, omni-channel suites, as well as customer success where you can monitor your CRM as well. So to get started, simply click on start free trial over here. And once you click on start free trial, you can get a 21 day free trial with your email or Google account. So if you want to continue with your email, just click here. Or if you want to continue with your Google account. Now, after that, you're just going to click on get started over here. And just like that, your dashboard will open up. So before you get into your dashboard, you can go on ahead and make, you know, a bit of a customization. So you're just going to enter the Freshdesk address where your customers can access you. So Jane Doe Inc. slash help. I think this is pretty much fine. I'm just going to click on next. Then you can go on ahead and invite people to your team. I'm going to skip this for now. And then if you have a platform that you are previously using, so if you are using Google or Microsoft to use as a email support service, so if you're sending out emails via these platforms, you can connect that. Or you can even use the email that they have created for you. So Freshdesk actually creates an email for you that you can use as the customer support email. Now, once you do that, you're going to click on start using Freshdesk over here. And once you do that, you're going to be seeing some sample data. So this is a bunch of sample data that is added for you to better understand. Now I'm going to dismiss all of this uh, dashboard, you know, data stuff because I want you guys to be able to build your own data. So I'm just going to click on dismiss and I'm just going to go into the ticket section over here and I'll remove all of these things. And now I'm just going to just double check if all the excess data has been removed. So we still have a bunch of different sample data. So I'm just going to delete some of the sample data. So after that, now we're going to go back to our dashboard and we will get started. So if I click on my dashboard over here, you will be able to see a overall overview of all the activity that is happening on your Freshdesk uh, platform. Now, if I copy this URL over here, so if I just take this, copy it and go into a new window, you can see over here, this basically opens up a product documentation section or like a support center for your customers. You might have an e-commerce business, you might have an offline business. So whatever kind of business that you have, you can put out a support center or a support uh, page or a FAQ page where you can provide a knowledge base or you can click on submit a ticket. And if you have any questions or queries, you can go on ahead and enter those over here. So that is what our Freshdesk ticketing system is working to build. Now, I'm not going to be focusing on knowledge bases in this video. I'm going to be focusing on the ticketing system. So once you have created your dashboard, this kind of default page is automatically created for you. Now, what you can do is you can go on ahead and if you are noticing that a certain question or query is often brought up in your ticketing system, you can go on ahead and go into your solutions section and you have a, you know, basic article. So you can click on new article. And whatever is a frequently asked question or a frequently brought up issue, which might be so question like, let's say I am a uh, candle creator and uh, I have a frequently asked question that a lot of my customers ask and that is that whenever they receive their candles, they have melted. So I would actually post an article on this. I would type in, you know, all the resolution, how it's not a product default, how it's just going to be like that and they can refreeze their candles or whatever kind of product it might be, whatever question or query it might be. So after that, you can enter some text. Now, not only that, but if you have a question where people are, you know, still confused about it, you can click on the insert video section and you can upload a video on any platform 
or you can embed it directly into the article as well so you can insert videos and photos for the better understanding of your customers then on the right side you have a bunch of different article properties so you can add a hierarchy which kind of category should it be and you can you know categorize them later you can add tags as well and you can also do search engine optimization so whenever people are opening up your knowledge base or your fresh desk help center they are able to find the knowledge that they are looking for after that you can just click on publish and i'm just going to post this in the general hierarchy so i'm just going to click on publish over here and you can see that you have uh you know you can just go on ahead and type your article but after that if you still have you know a bunch of tickets coming in and you want to resolve them how do you do that well First off, in your ticketing system, uh, a good thing you can do is go into your contact section and go into your contact section and you can go on ahead and import any of your contacts. So if you have a customer list, you can click on import over here and upload a pre-existing file and get that imported into your list. Then you can go on ahead and see any of the tickets. So you can click on view all tickets and on any of the present tickets will, uh, will be shown to you. Now, just an example, I'm going to go on ahead and just copy my URL and go into a new window and send myself a ticket to show you guys how you can resolve a ticket. So we're just going to wait for this to load up on our screen. So I'm just going to click on submit a ticket over here and I might want to report a issue. Now after that, I'm just going to enter my email. So I got a broken TV and you can select the type as well. Then you have the priority, urgent, and then you can enter the description. But this is what your customers are going to do. And then they can choose to enter reference numbers and attach files as well. And then they can click on submit. Now, once your customer has submitted a ticket, you will be able to get the ticket directly into your Freshdesk, Freshdesk Center. And you can see over here, just as it was uh, added, I got a ticket over here. Now, what I can do as a person that is managing the business, I'm going to open up the ticket. Now, you have a few different options. You can go on ahead and, uh, you know, add a tag. You can choose the status. You can see what kind of type of problem it is. Then you can do another thing. So uh, this is a customer support problem. You can group it. Then if you have your team members added, you can, uh, you know, direct a specific agent towards this person. Then you can also manage your time. You can log time, how much time it, it's taking to resolve an issue, as well as create to-do lists for specific tickets. So so you can solve them a uh, in a more easy fashion plus if you have multiple different tickets from the same person regarding a similar issue that they're facing with a product you can click on merge over here and merge another ticket with their pre-existing ticket so you can also do this on the basis of what kind of problem your customer is facing if two customers are facing the exact same problem you can merge their tickets and assign them to one customer support agent to better help your team so that is how you build a simple ticketing system and how you can organize your tickets and uh, manage your business i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video